are 18 year old scotches worth the money we pay for them? Now, I have a fun theory about this, especially when we go back to the old days. And by old days, I don't mean the 1800s. I'm talking about like 2010. You see, back, 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 back in the day, um, scotches were offensive. They were very offensive. They, people were very offended by anything with flavor. And so the Scotch whiskey industry really went out of their way to make whiskeys very boring. Now, the 12-year-old whiskeys were generally the most interesting whiskeys because they made the most money, honestly. That's the only reason. I would tell people buy the 14 or 15 year old age statement of any, of any scotch because the 12 was kind of your get in the market, please everybody statement. The 14, 15 year old was interesting thing. They used things like French oak and other sort of weird processes, Solera process. And they, but they actually produced really fine, interesting whiskeys for not that much more than the 12 than the 18 year old. Now, when you're buying an 18 year old scotch, you were buying an expensive scotch. It was maybe twice the value of the 12 year old. And, now people had expectations and the audience that could afford that scotch probably didn't want to be offended. What they wanted was a smooth scotch. They wanted a smooth scotch that was inoffensive and largely a lot of 18 year olds back then were pretty boring. Uh, they just were. They, they, for, for a scotch enthusiast that liked interesting whiskeys that are exciting on the palate, 18 year old whiskey was the place where a lot of scotch went to die. There were exceptions and 100%, you know, like Highland Park 18 was a classic that everybody loved. But in a lot of cases, your 18 year old's age statement was like, eh. Now, Glen Renji isn't like the other companies that way. They, first of all, they started with the, the 10 year age statement and then they kind of moved through into different categories and they kind of went off brand anyway. So I'm kind of curious to see where the Glamorangi 18 sits today. I expect it to be delicious, but there's also been a lot of delicious whiskey that's been released in the last 10 years. There's a lot of character-driven whiskey. So really the question is, how good is this whiskey? Not because it's not expected to be good, but how is it in today's world? Hard to nose a Glamorangi without getting citrus, especially orange citrus candied orange peels. This is a pretty quiet nose, already very gentle and light and soothing. Uh, I'm going to swirl this a little bit. Now, I don't normally swirl my whiskey, but I also just freshly opened a bottle. And a lot of times when the whiskey feels a little tight and the nose feels a little quiet, I swirl it. I get everything just a little excited in there to see if anything else pops through. Ah, there we go. Getting a nice honeyed note. Orange zest, honey note, some herbal note like a black tea. Very, very nice. Very kind of deep and rich. Let's have, a, let's have a taste. Mm. Now see, th this has what a lot of 18 year old scotches don't have. It is interesting. It's not smooth. I really dislike smooth whiskey. It's, um, it's got character. It just takes over the palate. There's a lot of pepper. There's a lot of candied orange candy kind of notes. There's an herbal note uh, that kind of a licorice nose just hangs on the palate and there's a butteriness. Now the butteriness I love. All old whiskeys have butteriness and that's really important because it's got a little bit of more oak flavor and that buttery note allows your palate to still be activated. Now you're getting all these other herbal notes. Uh, certainly cinnamon is uh, lovely, lovely cinnamon notes. And with every sip, it's a little different. You're going to get a little bit more brown sugars. You're getting a little bit more of the sweetness. You're constantly reminded this is an old whiskey because of that buttery note, but you're also constantly reminded it's an interesting whiskey because of the uh, pepperiness on the side of the tongue. You know what? Uh, Glen Rangy wins this round. This is just a really wonderfully nice, easy sipping 18 year old scotch that is interesting and fun and changes in your mouth and changes over time. And you know what? It's pretty good. All right. Th this is an 18 year old scotch that's worth it. But let me know in the comments below because I do think a lot of 18 year old scotches get a bad rap and I think they deserve it. Um, but, it but it's not this one. This one, this one proves me wrong. Hope you enjoyed. Cheers.